Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about what I do on a weekly reset. Every Tuesday, everything is reset. Instances, everything you were locked out of for the week, your great vault reward becomes available, and all the weekly stuff is reset. So here I am logging into Mod Druid. I logged out in my Covenant Sanctum, which makes it easy to pick up the next quest. Uh, deposit any spare anima you might have for the week. Next, additionally, you have your anima conductor activities. So these are usually once every, like, 24 hours, I think. So just throw those somewhere in your day, usually, or at least that's what I will do. Um, I try and collect them every day. Entering the Queen's Conservatory. I'm just going to go pick up these quests. Each covenant has an equivalent to the Queen's Conservatory. Oh, these actually didn't reset, so that's silly. But we have new quests, so I'm going to go ahead and grab them. Say hello to my guildies. Spam the guild macro. So collect anima for my sanctum, so that's another 1,000 anima quest. Complete a world quest in Ardenweald, easy peasy. Oh, it looks like we have a regular quest over here too. And I pick up this boy. Travel to Zoldazar to meditate, that's a weird quest. So I'm just gonna go around my sanctum and make sure all these activities are taken. Ooh, we have a new quest, what is this quest? Okay, rescue souls in the maw, of course, how could I forget? You wanna get all your callings and that kind of stuff. So any little quest marker you see in your covenant, just pick it up and throughout the week, we're gonna complete them. Holy crap, I need to get 20 souls out of the maw now, wow. That's uh, das salat. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And if you really want or you do participate in the command table, uh, this is a good time to do that as well. I lost. So go ahead and strategize and get run through your table and then we'll get ready. Okay, now that uh, I got all my command table stuff done, that uh, should be about it for this area. So I am going to go ahead and hearth to the Ring of Fate in Oribos. Of course, you can always start in Oribos if that's uh, what you want to do, if you want to get your vault stuff first or whatever, but uh, it doesn't matter. So once I'm in Oribos, I'm going to go straight down into the Broker's Den. I'd also like to point out, if you don't have these quests inside this little Broker's Den area, located right here, then you need to do a short quest with the innkeeper who will give you a quest and you simply have to go downstairs and talk to them and then you'll be able to receive these weekly quests. It's just a nice bonus to not only your rep, but it gives some decent anima as well. Uh, there's a staircase on either side, and then we're going to go down. So it looks like Plague Fall and Theater of Pain this week. Okay, now I'm going to run up here as a Thorkle. Spam my guild macro. Next, we're going to go get our PvP quests over here near the Enclave. I like to run just close <laughs> along here just to make sure you don't miss any quests in Orbos, um, even though they're all pretty consistent. Get a Blingtron if he's there. Uh, not a bad idea to talk to Mr. Bolvar and uh, look for any quests you might have around here to make sure you're up on the campaign. And then I'm gonna go get my PvP quests. Observing teamwork and observing war. So hold on, epic battlegrounds, that's sad. And raided battlegrounds, perfect. I'm gonna push RBGs this week for sure, so that's cool. But yeah, we're going to come over to the Hall of Holding here, and we're going to visit the Great Vault and grab this quest. A Shrouded Path Through Time, complete five time walking dungeons, and it's Pandaria time walking this week. I'm really stoked about that. I'm probably going to do that early, so the rewards for that is usually a 213 piece, which is generally pretty good. All right, my uh, Great Vault's probably going to be pretty terrible on this character for this week, so let's see. Yep, that's pretty pathetic. I'm gonna go with the PvP because basically I am trying, oh, I'll get a key, an 11 key. I'm just gonna make a quick decision because I don't wanna get too caught up on it. I knew I wasn't gonna get a good vault piece anyway. That should be it. Once you have made your little loop around Oribos, you should have every quest. So real quick, here's what my quest log looks like. A uh, thousand anima, somehow we already got a hundred within this time period. Collect 20 souls from the Maw. Oribos, we have obtained a thing from Plaguefall. 
something from Theater of Pain, 1500 honor earned in RBGs, 15 on, <laughs> 1500 honor earned in Epic Battlegrounds. I have my Queen's Conservatory quests. Again, that might be something specific to either your Covenant or maybe you have campaign quests that still need to get done. And then the weekend event, which I don't know why it's called the weekend event because it lasts all week but anyway the weekend event is a week-long thing and this week we have time walking so that's awesome and then we have our callings so I have three callings uh, this calling is left over from last week I think these uh, callings just bring you to another zone and have you do stuff in other zones so starting off the week we have quite a lot to do and personally I'm gonna get started right from here I dive right into the maw and I get my souls I also do some random quests around the maw but then when I'm done I like to go straight into Torghast from there so before you go romping around in the maw it's usually good to get these quests they can help you get Stygia, and then eventually when you level up with Venari, your reputation, you can actually get better stuff in the Maw, and uh, add sockets to gear, and some random stuff like that. So it's a, it's a decent idea to get some of these quests and work on them while you're collecting souls. Um, there's quite a bit to do in the Maw, and it doesn't hurt to overlap some of that stuff. Coming in on my last soul in the Maw, and then we're going to get out of here. Um, as you can see, my wanted level in the Maw is, uh, get convoked. My wanted level's pretty high. So, once you're done, you can use a little teleport thing to the middle. I lost mine in my bags, dude. I don't see it. Alright, baby, it's Torghast time. I'm going to run both of the sides consecutively. I'm just actually going to start a group. So I usually like five-man Torghast. It just makes it easier and, and kind of more fun, to be honest. And there it is. Fracture Chambers, side one, done. Next up, next side. So I have now completed both sides of Torghast, so I have all my Soul Ash I can collect for this week on my main. The next thing that I like to do early in the week that's a good thing to get done weekly is kill the world boss. So there's four world bosses thus far in Shadowlands, and they're basically one big dude in each of the zones. So it switches or rotates every week. This week is Revendreth. So here are the bosses at this northwest western corner and he's a big dude named Nurgash <gasps> muck formed so I'm gonna find a war mode on group and do it it's really important to keep in mind and this is the reason that I start in my Covenant Sanctum uh, you want to start there because you can get that collect 1000 anima quest all the anima that you get from that point on is counted it is based on the amount of anima you receive from that point on it's not based on on the amount you deposit into your sanctum so let's say you try saving up a thousand uh, little things for anima and you go and deposit them it won't count once you have done that doing the world boss will give you 250 anima which is already one quarter of the entire week knocked out right then and there not to mention it does drop some items that could be useful for you all right so the servers just went down at nine in the evening which is um a little strange that's that doesn't happen on reset day typically but it may be hard to put together a group for muck formed all right we just slapped nergash after a painful <laughs> grouping experience but we got it apparently people don't know what war mode on means but whatever additionally this week there is a holiday event going on so today uh like any other day I'm going to try and run the Crown Chemical Company for Mount Drop, maybe. If you are into PvP, there is one thing that's worth noting. Usually, there is a brawl that happens once a week. Once you have queued and entered the brawl, you should immediately get a quest pop-up for a quest to win the battleground or win the brawl, and you will get an additional bit of conquest and I think honor. So if you are into PvP, I would highly suggest trying to win at least one brawl. It will give you a little boost. If you are conquest cap, then don't bother. Oh my god, these guys are attacking my boys. We gotta kill them. Oh, only one was a real player. Oh, 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 he's got a necrolog thing. Oh, we might kill him. Get him, get him, get him. Save the huntard. 
Yeah, smack this kid too. Yeah, who's next? Who's next? So once you've done those initial tasks that I showed you earlier in the video, now you're only left with your PvP as well as mythic dungeon type quests or time walking and some other specific like uh, bonus battleground type of objectives. Once you have completed all of what I have just shown you in the video, now for the rest of the week it's kind of up to you to go out on your own and you can do either the PvP or the PvE content, or in my case, or a lot of people's cases, both. Uh, I play with a lot of guildies and friends, so sometimes people will offer uh, different opportunities or they'll ask me if I want to do a battleground, and I'll go ahead and do them. You just have to make sure that your main is a priority and then just work your way down that priority list of your characters. I personally have about three characters that I like to play on, but I always want to make sure my druid gets his stuff done first. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful for you to get a good idea of organization on how to start your week off right with the weekly reset, that's awesome. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or any Thing to say and uh, subscribe if you want to see more I do content on all kinds of stuff uh, check out the channel really appreciate it I'll see you later gamers